Chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. It is an NDS9952A, a dual N channel and P channel uh, field effect transistor, FET. So it has both an N channel and a P channel in the same package. Isn't that cool? Uh, so um, people might not be familiar with P channel and N channel but they might be familiar with NPN transistors and PNP transistors. Just think of an N channel as an NPN and a P channel as a PNP. That's basically what they do. Um, so in order to get an N channel to go, you have to have a high voltage. And in order for a P channel to go, you need to have a low voltage, just like a, an NPN, PNP transistor. One you pull up, one you pull down. Um, so what does this one do? It's uh, good for 30 volts, good for 3 amps. Uh, P channel is a little weaker than the N channel. Uh, let's see here, 0.9 watts with uh, no heat sink at all. And then a little bit more if you add a heat sink. Uh, we can take a look at that. Let's see. Uh, on resistance is about 0 0.08 ohms. Very nice. And uh, for the P-channel, it's a little worse, 0.17 ohms. All right. Um, as far as the heat sink that I talked about, it means that if you have no heat sink at all, which means the layout of the PC board is just a normal pad layout, uh, it's good for 0.9 watts. If you put a little bit of copper underneath it and hook up the... Uh, certain things to the drains probably um, anyway sources uh, adds a little heat sinking and then here we have a little bit a little bit more and you get the most wattage out of a big piece of copper all right there's some graphs look like normal uh, normal p channel and channel type graphs so i was thinking um what type of demo circuit would be fun for a device that has both an n channel and a d channel I first thought, these are often used in power supplies and laptop computers and stuff, kind of boring. I was thinking maybe use it as a push-pull thing uh, for maybe a motor, make a motor go forwards and backwards type of thing. Um, and then uh, I said, oh, I know, the perfect circuit. So here we go. So I found this that somebody had done before, and I thought, oh, perfect. It uses a P channel and an N channel. P channel has the arrow going out and, uh, and uh, the N channel goes in. So what does this thing do? Well, it, it is a pass, so it's a switch. It's like a relay. So you have an N, and if this transistor is on, then you conduct electricity, turns on the LED. So it's an on-off switch, right? And how do you control the on-off switch? Well, if uh, we uh, pull down on pin four, then this will turn on. How do we pull down on pin four? Well, we'll pull down with the end channel. So that's how we'll turn it on. We'll pull this down. Um, and uh, then if this thing is on, it will come around and it'll keep itself on because it, the output will keep this guy on. So if you can get it going, then it'll stay on. And um, there's a switch here that gets it going. So there's a little bit of circuitry over here. And when you first um, power this thing up, this capacitor will be low and uh, then it will start to charge up. So uh, the power will come in here and it'll charge this thing up and it will be sitting at a nice high voltage, right? Uh, this thing will be off originally and so there will be no voltage out here. But if you close this switch, it takes this high voltage here and it turns this guy on. And once he's on, he pulls down, he turns this guy on, then this is high and then it keeps itself running, okay? And uh, then, um, you're supposed to be able to push the button on and off. Okay, so if you push it once, it'll go on. 
and then uh, if you push it again, then uh, let's see, how does that work? Uh, this guy can then uh, ground this note as well, and the capacitor will be discharged. Okay, it'll go down to zero. So if this is down to zero and you push the button, then this node will go to zero, and it'll turn this guy off, and then this guy will be off. And then, anyway, it should be on, off, on, off, on, off. That's the way this circuit's supposed to work. So let's uh, give it a try. Oh. So I have the circuit over here. I've got, last time I was at the store, I bought this little zero insertion force test socket for SO8. So I have him here in this test socket and I have the circuitry hooked up. Now, uh, let me think about this. Um, da, 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 da. This goes, yeah. So the original circuit was this. And when I pushed the button, it stayed on, it turned on, and then it just stayed on. You see it flicker maybe. Yeah, it flickers once in a while, but it stays on. It'll never turn off. I had to modify the circuit. So I hate that going on the internet. There's all kinds of junk circuits out there and you run across them and then you have to debug them. And anyway, I debugged this one. So um, on, off, on, off. I'm just pushing the button over here. Push the button on, push the button off. Uh, so I had to add a, uh, a, a, a extra resistor to make this thing operate, but it does operate pretty cool. So uh, a little on off switch using just uh, one package here that has both the P and the N channel. And it's real low resistance, right? 0.1 ohms on. So you don't drop a lot here. So it's a great power switch. It, you could run quite a bit of, uh, well, you could run three amps through it, right? About 2.9 amps through it. So yeah, you could power up all kinds of cool, cool stuff with this and have a little on off, little on off button. So how did I fix the circuit? Um, well, I had to do this. I added another 10K. The problem with it is uh, when you uh, push the switch to ground um, and the output went uh, low, or the output was floating. Basically, the output floats. And there was nothing to pull this gate to ground. You need to turn this thing off, and there was no way to bleed off the capacitance of the gate and stuff. It just stayed on, uh, just floating in the breeze. It just stayed on. So I needed to add this extra uh, resistor here to make sure I could pull down on that gate and zero it out. And uh, anyway, so there's the circuit. If you want to copy it, that on the screen there. All right, that was tip of the day, an NDS9952A by On Semiconductor.